Hello everybody and welcome to Crazy Oss Gaming and another Throwback Tuesday. Today we are doing something slightly different as we've managed to got three people in the Throwback today. We have Liam. Hi everybody. Marty. Hello <laughs> everybody. And the uncomfortable delay. And today we are playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade classic. We're playing it over XBLA or Xbox Live Arcade for those of you who don't know. And just for a little information, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or Hero Turtles, depending on where you're from, was released in 1989, was a standard two-player version, and there was also a four-player deluxe version. It's based around the animated TV series, which aired in the winter of 1987. Home versions of the game have been released on various formats, ranging from the NES, home computers, and now even the Xbox, which we are playing on now. So, let's jump straight in, shall we? So, what are your memories of playing this game back in the good old days then, Liam? Uh, I used to play in the arcades, I think it was 10 years ago. Uh, well, they were pound now, weren't they, games? Oh, they are now, yeah. But then you, you could never find anybody that would want to play it with you, so I was always alone. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're having a bit of problem with um, lag during this, ladies and uh, gentlemen, so you'll just have to bear with us. Uh, what about uh, your memories, Marty? Um, yeah, well, I had this on the NES and uh, the Commodore, I think it was Commodore Amiga. Um, <laughs> and I played this in the arcade, like Liam. Um, this a lot in the Simpsons arcade uh, as well, around the same time. Um, it was, yeah, they were, uh, obviously, it was it was one where I lost a lot of money on. Um, <laughs> you know, this is one of the kind of the old classic kind of style of games where you only had, you know, you obviously, it was a challenge. You know, nowadays, everything's so easy. Um, you know, and it was such a hard game as well. You know, I mean, I, compl I went through this game recently and it was like, you know, and, it, and even the, bo the bosses were still quite hard. Um... You know, but yeah, obviously the arcade was my main memory, uh, the first memory. I think it was that was the best version. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, uh, again, uh, it was pretty much just the arcade I played this in. It was the uh, once a year thing, whenever the family went on holiday to the local, well, not local, but to the caravan park, I used to plow ton load of money in this. I never finished it. I <laughs> never. I don't think anybody finished this. Not, 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 hard, not, not unless you were rich, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, this was always the uh, the go to the go to arcade machine for me when I was on holiday. Yeah, it was it was you know it was just turtles was a big thing. I mean, it was like kind of when you were about nine, like eight to nine or something. You know, turtles was always the main thing first and. You know, and that, that was like, sorry, that was a big thing, kind of, youngish boys, I think after Ghostbusters. Um, you know, and obviously everyone had a favourite turtle, who were yours? Uh, mine was Raphael, what I was say. about you, Liam? Uh, I'm a bit sketchy on the names, I forgot. Oh, wait, Donatella? The one you're playing as now, the you purple two. purple bandana. Yeah. I'm just playing them. <laughs> I, do, I do like the blue one. Or oh, Leonardo. Yeah. Everyone, everyone said Leonardo was kind of the best. Every, every, Leonardo, Raphael was everyone's favourite. Leonardo was kind of the leader. Leonardo was mine. That's why blue's my favourite colour. Um, I was always... Yeah. You know, Everyone uh, had their own, you know, the favourites, but yeah, I see a um, Oh, it's kind of sped up a bit now. Yeah, uh, you, you didn't, I don't know anybody who didn't love the Turtles, um, back in the day. Uh, there was always a big rush to get the, the, the toys for Christmas, and... Yeah, oh, I had I the, Did you have the toys? I, I had a few of them. Uh, it was mostly the knockoff toys I ended up getting, because they were down like cheaper. Well, yeah, it was, uh, I had a oh, few, I, I had a saying, yeah. 
Add a, add a, add a few of the turtles. And, uh, never got any of the vehicles without, though. A bit expensive for me. What about you, Liam? Oh, you're still a collector of the old action figures and stuff. Have you got any of these? Uh, I've still got them all, yeah. I didn't have, like, uh, any of the vehicles, but I had all, all the toys. <laughs> because they used to have, like, rubber belts, didn't they? And... Yeah, 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 that you attached to them. Yeah, I had all the toys. Yeah. I had the pizza launcher, the blimp, the van, the sewers. The sewers was amazing. I remember they made it on Blue Peter once. Oh, awesome. Oh, well made um, as well. Yeah, I even have the, the uh, figures from the movies like Tolkien and Razor and. See, the only the only toy I remember having from the movies was from the third movie, and I had a Samurai Leonardo. Oh God, let us not talk of that <laughs> third movie. I like the third movie. <laughs> it is awful. <laughs> no, it is. It was shocking. <laughs> I remember going to the cinema to see that one. Oh dear. So, who put the lights out? <laughs> yeah, that was this. So. It was like, I mean, for anyone wondering as well why we're playing this, I mean, obviously it's such a great game as we said. Um, it was just kind of cropped up from a conversation we're having um, due to the last summer of arcade title recently, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Out of the Shadows, um, which I will review for the site, um, to, to coincide with this actually. Uh, that came out in August, uh, finished that a couple of months back, and you know, it was a good game. It had the original Partners in Crime theme as well on it, which was like, I, I admit, you know, kind of, I geeked out when I first heard that. <laughs> um, and it kind of has that classic style to it as well. You, they, they have the side scrolling arcade like we're doing now. Um, there were lots of other Turtles games as well. Did you play the kind of? Did you ever play any of the originals? Uh, I've got one for the NES, which I'll uh, probably do another uh, for Throwback Tuesday video on after this one, so we can compare. Oh, did you? Yeah, did you play that one? The Angry Video Game Nerd played it as well. I had it, obviously being a big Turtles fan, but it was rock hard. Yeah, I don't think I've actually got past that underwater level bit yet. Yeah, that was a bitch. Yeah. And what about you, Lim? Did you play any of them? No, nope, I didn't. But I had the math system, so it weren't really available on that. I think no. it, this is the first one I've ever had on the home console. Uh, huh. There was one I think you, you should actually get hold of, uh, Mike. You, you, you like your beat em ups, um, or your classic beat em ups. Uh, it was, I had it on the Mega Drive, it was caught, well, it was on the SNES as well. Turtles in Time was a great, watch out for this coming down. Um, Turtles in Time was, was, was excellent, um, which we'll talk more about in a minute. Uh, there was one, like I say, you should get hold of if you get the chance. Um, what was it called? Turtles Tournament Fighters. Yeah, it was kind of like a one on one beat em up, wasn't it? That one. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how easy it is to get hold of, but I wouldn't mind getting that for the, the Mega Drive. It wasn't, it was kind of, there were like lots of random characters they put in there as well, but it was, it was a good game, I suppose. Uh, I think they had interactive environments as well. See, that was another, I know, um, which one was it that was out on the Super Nintendo, which had the old, um, you could throw, throw the characters into the actual screen. And... Was it Hyperstone Heist? Not sure. okay. You're not even much with Say, <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, not attacking people. much because I'm being an achievement whore, um, guys. So, uh, just for any of the viewers wondering why Leonardo is just going for a stroll. Well, what are you supposed um, to do? He gets distracted, doesn't he, by the hole. So when he's doing that, you can attack him, and he doesn't know what he's doing. All right. Yeah, Turtles in Time <laughs> is considered one of the best Turtles games. Um, you know, did you play it originally, Mike, when it was on the NES? Uh, sorry, the SNES. I didn't, unfortunately. I never had that. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, I had a Super Nintendo back then, but I just never got around to picking up the Turtles one. Also, if you ever get the chance, uh, when you complete it during the credits, there's a song. Uh, it's taken from uh, the concert 
Um, the Turtles concert they did coming out of the Shells tour. Uh, it's called Pizza Power. That's really a really, <laughs> really good song uh, if you YouTube it. Yeah, it was a good game. Um, and uh, Shredder was, uh, obviously, it, the, re it, the reshell version um, wasn't as good. It, it was like they changed the battle because you played a Shredder on the original, uh, on the Turtles in, original Turtles in Time game. And on this, you play against Shredder. Uh, what was what? What did you make of the uh, reshelled version that came out? Was it pretty out four years ago? I think it was. No, it's been a while now, hasn't it? Uh, I enjoyed yeah, it. Two thousand nine. Um, I mean, to me, nothing's been able to match this. But I don't know whether that's just down to the nostalgia feeling of playing this game. But... Yeah. Like we we'll talk about the arcades. It's like another great arcade game. I think it was Konami as well with the Simpsons arcade. Oh yeah, I that was that... classic. You need we need you need to get that guys for this. Um great. It just it's the thing is though, when you've got kind of infinite lives on games like these and on the arcade, it's like you kinda it, it makes you realise just how short they actually are. Yeah, and it kinda takes away a bit of the the kind of feeling you get from playing them back in the days when you did have limited money and yeah. you were twice I walked into that. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, I did it recently. Yeah, I completed this game recently, but it was still really hard. The boss battles are actually, even though they've got an attack pattern, it's still quite difficult. Because you've got you've got to time it perfectly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Turtles in Time reshelled. Yeah, it was a good game. Um, just for anyone, obviously, as you'll know, uh, we won't be able to do a free player on it because one, Liam doesn't have it, and two. Liam won't be able to get it anymore. What? As it no longer exists on the marketplace. Taken off Did about it? two years ago. Yeah, yeah. I so. That's one we'll of the problems. The um... license expired, basically. Yeah. I have to get it on the Wii U. Stuff that. We'll That's just have to get it in that. an arcade cabinet. Yeah. I would, I'd love to own this as an arcade cabinet. Yeah, Next and Simpsons Arcade, on. and X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did, you ever, did you play the Simpsons Arcade back in 89, was it? 1990? I spent a fortune on that one. Yeah, that was another one that was rock hard. I mean, the Blast Boss, I mean, I completed it a few times now on that, since it came out on here, and it's, and it's like... Smithers was so hard. I mean, Mr. Burns was rock hard back in the day. You could do it as a four player. That was that was a great thing. It was like, you, if you had four players, you know, like in the arcade, three randomers. Because, um, you know, when you go away on holiday, like you said with your parents, you'd always have somebody there, unless you were Liam. Um, he probably <laughs> smelled a lot. <laughs> Picked his nose a lot. Yeah, he probably didn't have any friends. Um... Yeah, obviously, it was one of them where you'd always, somebody else would join your game or you'd join their game. Um, and it was fun playing it with, with four players because it was always like, you'd always have, you know, obviously, you'd get through it quicker. It was, I mean, it, with me it was always a case off the door. There'd always be a queue round, either this console, uh, this yeah. arcade, or the <laughs> Simpsons one. Um, and they... Bless you. <laughs> and, and then, then you'd always have that. Sorry, go on. I was going to say, and then when one person died and <laughs> ran out of money, you'd have somebody else jump in and it'd just be a group of randoms trying to complete the game. Watch out. Yeah, you'd always. Or you'd always have the. Uh, it wasn't if they just ran out of money, it was also the ones whose parents were like, we're going now. <laughs> yeah. And they'd be like, oh, I'm halfway through a game. And then you'd end up taking over their game. Yeah, parents never really got that, did they? It was, well, I'm slapping through a game. No, we're going now. Come on. Parents never understood. I got dragged away from far too many games in my youth. Yeah. So, yeah. Any parents out there now watching this, let your kids finish their arcade games. Well. They're on to you now. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Kids are arcade games. Nothing Besides. I'm not, you know, 
To be fair, kids are actually probably rich enough now. I mean, they've got all bloody iPhones and all that and iPads. Like, I saw a kid who must have been about six in the market walk with an iPad, and I was like, what the friggin' hell are you doing with an iPad? You're like six years old. I'm but, you know, kids it. are rich enough now, you know, and it's like... And, you know, and... and and now, like, the arcade machines are a pound to play, as we said, and it's like, you know, and like Liam said, there's nothing. It's a sad no. state now that that consoles are, have kind of caught up with That's arcades. It, yeah. Like, you go back then, you'd have, like, dance machine, dance mats and, like, the House of the Dead games and stuff, and they looked amazing. Um, but, you know, and, then, and, and it's like, obviously... I think the last arcade games, that are new ones that came out, were probably House of the Dead 3. Um, hey, there's four now. Is there a four? Alright, oh, it might have, might have been four, I can't remember. Um, Guitar Hero and um, Terminator Salvation. And it's a shame, you know, like, they were always innovative, like you had... You know, like you played with a G Force gun recently, and you know, and back then you, that was cool because it was like you obviously had your light gun games like Mad Dog McCree, which stuff like that you were talking about in the first podcast, and you know, you had Virtua Cop, you had um, what was it? Yeah, the Lethal Enforcer, Terminator 2, um, Virtua Cop, Time Crisis as well. You know, and gun games were innovative. Dance, dance machines. That's what. That's what they, they should still kind of. I think we are cave machines. No, they should just be innovative. That's what. That's what. Instead of just, you know, trying to keep. You know, obviously keep up with with, with consoles of, of today. Um, I think they should should try and bring in more innovation. We are cave machines. Like there's one where I remember I played it in the Trafford Centre arcade, and it's like um, a Pogo one. It's like a racing one, and you play as these kind of like cutesy Japanese, I don't know, whatever. These like characters, these ca- they look like it's like something from Japan, and and it's like you're jumping up and down on a pogo, and it's <laughs> it's like it's really good. Um, do you remember one called? I think it was called Alpine Racer, where you had to kind of swing your hips from side yeah, to side. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like a like skiing a, machine. Yeah. yeah but well, I mean, I think- they were like fun and innov- innovative, and nowadays it's just. Hell, I still play guitar hero in arcades. See, I miss I miss um, arcades like this. You don't see new arcades coming out like this anymore. The beat yeah. ups or the four player beat ups and things like that. That's what you don't I even think see the these anymore. Is. That's the thing. I was like, I went to Blackpool recently, and I went in the arcades, and I was like, Do you know, what? I would even though I've got them both on XBLA, I would quite happily play this again. On, and like you said, even have an arcade cabinet with us, I'd quite happily go back into the arcade and put 20p into Simpsons Arcade or this and be like, you know what, even though I've got it at home, I'd still play it just for the nostalgic value. That's it, but I mean, the arcade, it sends a, a completely different experience, isn't it? I mean, you've got the you got all the noise yeah. of the different arcade machines, you've got your feet sticking to the floor, it's, it's a unique experience going into yeah. an arcade, and it's something, something that's, you know, not around nearly as much as it used to. You got them cafes at the back full of old people. <laughs> yeah, you got the bingo caller in the background. That Arabian thing one with the camels where you pump oh, yeah. them balls, yeah. And you can. Yeah! Them machines where you can win tickets, but it costs you. You'd have to like spend thousands to like win, I don't know, a bloody radio controlled car because they're like 2,000 tickets or whatever. And there was yeah. always there was always that no matter which arcade you went into you could always hear all the everything the Daytona intro. Yeah, Daytona. <laughs> yeah, that one, you, Mike. That's awesome. <laughs> the one I used to hear a lot as well is Moonwalker. Oh yes, I completely forgot about that. That was another awesome arcade. Oh, the Simpsons theme, like with that one, yeah. Daytona was always one, yeah. It just got Daytona, and you were like, oh. "Well, that's what I mean." Racing games were great because it's like you get into a car. There's one with a Mario Kart one, which is amazing. I don't know if you played it, and it takes your picture. Yeah, I've played the Mario Kart um, arcade, and I like kind of what was the ones on the bikes as well. They're pretty cool. Although I'm, oh, another one, Final Furlong. Oh, with the the actual horse. 
thing. Yeah, it's it. kind of looks like you're shagging it, basically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I know there was one I used to play, I can't, I can't remember the name of it, but you had like a, a samurai sword, which you used to actually hold, oh, and you used to shit, block yeah. with it, and... Yeah, they had it in the Trafford Centre, they still have it, I think, or there was, do you remember, I think it was called, there's one that came out about, I don't know, 10 years ago maybe, it was, it's a ball attached to a rope, or elastic or something like, I think it was ball, yeah, it's like a football, ball, yeah, and then it registers. It doesn't. It's like you could, you know, like you'd you'd absolutely punt it, and it'd go over the bar or something on the screen. Yeah. yeah. There's one. There was one out as well that used to measure how much power you could produce. Or something. Yeah. Or like the old um, punching machines that you were catching. Oh god, and... yeah. I never had a go on them because I was just. Ah. Just scared of like not even registering it, it was, like <laughs> probably come up with a breeze or something like that. Come up with a come on, are you gonna hit it or what? You study all day. Yeah. Yeah, I never went on one of them either. <laughs> I've had sneezes more powerful than my punches, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle oh, no. van. Oh yeah. Is that it for me? Am I out now? Are you dead? I'm dead. Oh. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, because it thingy on the um Yeah, I forgot on XBLA you kind of don't have infinite lives. Well that's just sucky, I've got plenty of 10 P's left. <laughs> jangling your jangle jangling in your bum bag. <laughs> yeah. You may know they always the the uh, the rush afterwards and all. Whenever the continue screen came up, you were always trying to get the ten P's in. Yeah, before because you know, like when you pressed the, if you ran out, you'd always do that thing where you'd like hammer the buttons so the countdown would go down <laughs> quicker. So nobody oh. else could take on your game. Hmm? So nobody else could take on your game yeah. after you've walked away. Some serious strategy to, to this. It's like you can't just button mash on this game. That's why I'm dead. To be fair, I was like, oh, because like I said, I went through it again. I think like earlier this year, um, but it's summer or summer of this and, and like I completed it all the way through. And I was like, and I thought it was the same. I forgot. Yeah, on XBLA, you kind of it's like the classic kind of arcade one. Once you run out, you die. You die. Well. Shine a light. <laughs> Radar. Radar. Never get past Oh, it's the mad doctor yeah. thing first, isn't it? So are you spectating or were you back on the title screen? No, I'm still specta uh, spectating. I, I still away. love the level of authenticity with this. Like, you fought Krang as well. I was like, that's pretty cool, that. The fact that they had all the proper bosses, like... You know, like that one, that soldier, I forgot his name now. The one he was like, um, made out of rocks and stuff. And Baxter Stockman and, and, oh, get, I think I've got one life left. Yeah, gotta be honest, I'm still fairly impressed with the amount of knowledge you managed to retain from this. So I can't remember oh. half of the stuff that was on the cartoons. Oh, yeah, I love the cartoons. I've got the DVDs, um... You gotta delete, defeat them on or not. Yeah, this guy I'm on about, I can't remember his name. I remember like the Rat King, I don't know if you remember him. And obviously Casey Jones. Oh, Casey Jones, I remember him, he was awesome. So while we're on the subject, you looking forward to the new film? Do you know what? Weirdly, I am now. I mean, I'm not massively keen on Megan Fox. I'm nearly dead, by the way. Or, uh, I'm not massively keen on Megan Fox, but, you know, and in terms of, like, her acting ability. But I am actually kind of looking forward to it, yeah. What about yourself? Uh, I'd be interested to see what happens to it. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but... 
Yeah. But it's Michael Bay film, like, the turtles will kick Shredder and he'll blow up. <laughs> and then you'll just see a, a, an American military helicopter going by in the background for no reason. Yeah. Uh, I'm a raw dead. Are we restarting? Uh, Be rude not to. Be rude not to. We'll uh, give it one more go, shall we? Yeah. I'm going to be the dude with the stick this time. Staff. Staff. <laughs> what about you, Liam? What? Are you looking forward you to the joining? film? Are you joining? I'm right. joining, yeah. Yeah, I'm joining. And the film? The film? Uh... I'm not looking forward to it, to be honest with you. It's going to be terrible. I'll tell you what you should check out, though, if you get the chance. Um, weirdly as well, coincidentally, there is a Turtles game coming out this week. Uh, I think it's this week. Uh, same day as Batman uh, come sit, uh, come Origins. Um, but yeah, um, the Nickelodeon show that's come out. It's yeah, based the, on that, the, the game that's coming out. But yeah, it, it, I've watched Nickelodeon show and it's actually really good. I mean, everyone's like, "Oh, you can't compare to the original Turtles." But if you watch the original Turtles, it's like it was cheesy as hell. Um, they were little cannonballs. I thought they were originally just one big ball aren't they, coming down the stairs. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a really, really good show. And like, like everyone was, "Oh, yeah, you can't beat the original." To be fair, if you watch the original Turtles now, it's cheesy as hell. It's not great, you know, I mean, it's fantastic for what it is, but it wasn't exactly bloody, you know, like Oscar Wilde, right? <laughs> you know, it was, <laughs> it was corny. You know, so yeah, I'd recommend watching the Nickelodeon one. It's actually really, really good, and they've got um, Rob Paulson's back. But weirdly, Rob Paulson isn't playing um, Raphael in this, he's playing Donatello. Uh, in the new version, and they've got um, Sean Astin, uh, who's Samwise in the Lord of the Rings films as Raphael, and Jason Biggs, the pie fucker himself, as Leonardo. Wow. I think I've seen a few of the episodes of the, the new Nickelodeon. Not a huge amount, right, but it seems to be uh, fairly decent, to be honest. I like the look of it, and it's kind of like round about the same period as also I was a big fan of the Thundercats back then as well. Yeah, or the remade Thundercats as well, that was just shocking. It's more like a kind of an anime style thing. Not that I've got anything against anime and manga, but, um, you know. Well, I think it's yeah, I think it's that fact, because I'm quite a big anime fan myself, like, so I quite enjoy the new the new ones. But I was going back and watching mm -hmm. the old ones as well, you know, just to get a bit of old uh, nostalgia. And they haven't yeah. aged well at all, to be honest. Oh, but... They were great back then. Children's TV show doesn't rely on all CG and all that and stuff. It's like, oh, true. Don't get me wrong. I still really enjoy them. Like, but it's like you said. You look back and they seem a lot more corny than what you remember them. And I guess it's like nostalgia. Nostalgia plays a big part of your memory as well when you're looking at these things. But... Yeah. A bit like the real Ghostbusters titles. Don't mock yeah. the real Ghostbusters. It is bad now if you watch that. <laughs> I've got the DVD. I've got season one on DVD. Yeah, um, and yeah, it's the real Ghostbusters was, and then then it was the real Ghostbusters and Slimer, wasn't it? Yeah. The Slimer kind of became part of the team. Um, Weirdly, and you probably you probably know it anyway. A lot of people, a lot of Ghostbusters fans do know it. But um, if you remember, um, Lorenzo Music played uh, Peter Venkman in the cartoon, uh, and um, he played Garfield as well. And uh, obviously, Bill Murray played Peter oh Venkman and played Garfield as well. How spooky is that? <laughs> Can't I think I remember. Busters, that was classic. The film, the films are pretty, pretty awesome as well. I still watch them even now and enjoy them. Yeah, actually, the first Turtles movie was amazing, or even the second one with Vanilla Ice. 
Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. Oh, bringing back so many memories I've tried so hard to forget. Yo, it's Green Machine. Gonna rock the town without being seen. Have you ever seen a turtle get down? <laughs> Sorry. That's yeah, the problem with kids' TV today. There's not nearly enough random... It's all C... Yeah, it's all CG and bloody... Weird kind of... It's like they're on drugs. Back in our day, it was like... You know, it was simple. It was like you say, it looks all... You haven't aged well now, but... That's not the point. I just wish I could be in, like, the board meetings where they pitch these programs and stuff. Say, so, right, well, we've got an idea. About four turtles, all six foot tall, can talk, and they go around fighting giant rhinos and pigs. Is it at that point, I just imagine the, the kind of head of the company hitting the panic button and waiting for security to drag the fella out. Yeah. Yeah, it was the same as like things like Transformers. <coughs> well, and about all this, all this nostalgia trip and stuff. I really enjoy watching them. Hmm. Well, Turtles originally was kind of, as we said in the last podcast, it was dark, wasn't it? It was a comic book. Yeah, yeah. I think it was like a a, a graphic novel, wasn't it? Initially. Yeah. Oh, that's and one of the. Did. And then they did the, the um. There was a 2007 movie, which was all right. To mix them all up. Yeah, and then there's uh, oh, batches online. Um, and then there was a TV series ten years ago, a new version. It was awful. The new theme as well is pretty cool to the new Nickelodeon TV series. I kind of know that, off, but I, you know, I've been listening to that a lot. It's quite catchy. Um, you can't beat the original TV theme though. I was like. TV themes eh, were ace back then, like Mighty Morphin, Power Rangers, and <laughs> stuff like that. Leonardo's tough. TV Ninja teams, Donatello those machines. <laughs> Raphael is cool but crude. Michelangelo is a party dude. That's Bob Dylan shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a damn sight better than half the stuff that gets in the charts these days. Jedward, yeah. <laughs> Mousers. They were originally Baxter Stockman's invention. To... And, um, you're still a big fan of the old Power Rangers, aren't you, Liam? Well, you give me a few dirty looks when I was poo poo mouthing it the other day. Yeah, I was big as a kid on the Power Rangers. All the figures. Power Rangers was amazing, yeah, the Megazord. The there was no Transformers. Well, I enjoyed the movie. I thought that was so uh, naff. Oh, we're in trouble. Everyone just wanted to be the White Ranger and everyone wanted to be in the Pink Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, she was fit. It's like Jet from the Gladiators. That was everyone's kind of first love. I don't I'll, know. Uh, some... I'll hold hmm? my hand up to that one and say, yeah. was probably the uh, sole reason I did watch Gladiators back then. A wooga. A wooga. <laughs> the wolf man. I was watching, I didn't I even realise the, um, don't know about, I was watching on, I think it was on Challenge or something the other day, they've actually got, what was it, the Gladiators, the originals versus the new generation now. Alright. I think it's a couple of years old, but it was some kind of, Are some you kind of Christmas special or summer, but it was quite good. Oh, Alright. Oh, they did a new version with Kirsty Gallagher, Gallagher, Gallagher. Um, they had a new version that came out about ten years ago, was it? Something like that. A new Gladiators and it was shite. No, I don't think I ever saw the um, new version. You didn't miss much. They were on Sky One, weren't it? Yeah, John Anderson came back. Come and get him, girl brain. Oh dear. <laughs> That's pretty good for it to handle speech, kind of the arcade, this version. The only problem with the arcade is you can never hear the sound. 
quite clearly yeah. though. There was an Ace at um, arcade game back in the day, the Robocop one. I think it rings a bell. Oh, Golden Axe, obviously. Was a yeah, well, obviously, you played Golden Axe for the uh, podcast. And um, Alien vs. Predator arcade. Was good yeah. One. That was a bad yeah, you, yeah, you played Golden Axe, didn't you, in Streets of Rage? Was it two for the podcast? Uh, yeah, yeah, played through and those two. Sonic and, was it Sonic, Sonic and Knuckles? I started Sonic and Knuckles, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, Alien vs Predator was amazing, yeah. Um, Sunset Riders. Outrun. Pit Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously Street Fighter 2 was the fuzzy uh, ultimate. I only used to play that when there was nobody around because I sucked at it. And everyone else was better, they all knew all the moves. Rock steady and bebop. Have we set this party to invite only? Uh, yeah. I loved the origin stories, like on the turtle films, like the first turtles film. That was ace. That is it the same as the cartoon origin? Well, yeah. My shredder was Orinoco Saki, <laughs> my master. It's a bit well. Well, the cartoon um, origin story was. His master was obviously, he was kind of walking down the street and he was carrying a rat or something, wasn't he? And something like that. And then he uh, ended up in the toxic ooze. The mutagen, yeah. Yeah, because in the movie, um, if you remember, yeah, he, uh, he was kind of studying his master's moves. Uh, <laughs> splinter in his cage. Yeah, I've got the image now of just this rat in a cage copying all the karate moves of his master. Yeah, the really bad animatronic <laughs> rat. <laughs> yeah. Oroko Saki. This game hasn't got any easier over time at all. No. Not when you've only got seven and eight lives left. I know! <laughs> it is, the boss battles rock out. Yeah, and then obviously, uh, they went into the sewers and, well, it went, it's been about, who did it, I can't remember, did he retreat to the sewers? It's been a while. And then obviously, some ooze got spilled into the sewers and there were happened to be four turtles there as well. As you do. Yeah. A rat! How the fuck can a rat have four flight? Look after four <laughs> turtles. <laughs> I, what I want to know is, one thing, right, I know obviously you've got to try and not think about it because it's a cartoon, but what, right, where do the turtles get the money for pizza? <laughs> or the where? van that they drive, or... Yeah, yeah, like, you know, the blimp. Yeah, it was just like, you know, was Donatello working in IT on the side or something? You know, it was like they'd always have money for pizza. I reckon they were pimping out April. When she wasn't, yeah, she was at Channel 5 News, or was it whatever the news station was now, uh, during the day, yeah. It's the only explanation. How else can you afford a blimp? Yeah. <laughs> and surely being... Being ninjas, the whole point of a ninja is to remain in the darkness and remain unseen and yeah. stuff. Isn't using a blimp probably the least practical option of the lot? Yeah. 
Oh god, you just reminded me of the fucking. There was uh, the next mutation. It was a live action show. It was horrendous YouTube. It was actual like it was like the film, but worse. <laughs> and they had a female turtle called Venus de Milo. Oh, shit! You not? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's like. And all, after all that with Shredder, they could have just killed him with a tin opener. <laughs> <laughs> Shredder basically, that's what made me laugh, Shredder's this fucking ninja in like a mechanical, well this big spike suit and he takes orders from a, a massive pair of talking testicles. <laughs> <laughs> She, she, I tell you what, though, yeah, there's a nice touch as well. She could have the jumpsuit in the new film, but she doesn't. She has a yellow jacket, which is, I suppose, a nod. Apparently a nod to the, obviously, it's a nod to um, April's original... Uh, original, like, obviously, uh, wearing yellow in the cartoon. Isn't there some he, kind of nonsense about the turtles being aliens? Yeah, he's dropped that, though, now. Definitely got through that one. The internet being what it is and all. God damn helicopters! Heck, there's teenage mutant alien turtles. <laughs> doesn't really have the same teenage ring. Teenage alien it? ninja turtles. Teenage alien ninja turtles doesn't have the same ring to it. Or hero turtles, as he said in the intro, yeah. It's like, they called, that, that's, that still makes me laugh to this day, the reason why it was called Hero Turtles over here. There's something about the fact they thought that ninjas was too much of a violent thing for the UK audience. Yeah, except they fought in the cartoon, yeah. Eey. Oh, we had the Technodrome as well, but it didn't last very long, ended up giving it to me, mate. I was like... I just, I didn't, I had to sell it to my mate because I just didn't have enough. I had too many turtles figures. Yeah, the old Technodrome. Splinter. You gotta save Splinter. Oh, you left us, Liam. Got ya. And you're dead as well. The mouses. Stick, I'm so sticking to the top. Such well designed characters as well, I think. The foot soldiers. Yeah, the foot clan, yeah. I had the foot, some of the foot soldiers figures. I think, I remember, I think, yeah, like the helmets were plastic or something, yeah, like the rubbery on the figures as well, yeah. Yeah, the sewers was amazing. The, uh, it was, it was almost, it was up there with like the Ghostbusters firehouse. In, like the old Ghostbusters firehouse toy. That yeah. was amazing, all that. You cannot beat the firehouse. I did have Castle Grayskull as well. Well, yeah. Um, although, I ended up just... I didn't really like it. Uh, He-Man wasn't great. But, uh, yeah. The Turtles firehouse was amazing. Sorry, not Turtles firehouse. Ghostbusters firehouse. That were ace, that. I always wanted the uh, Ecto one. Never managed to. Oh, I had the Ecto one. Yeah, it was. No, it was essential. You could park it up in the firehouse. Yeah. But yeah, the turtle sewers. Um, you had the weapons with them as well that you could put back in the. Uh, if you kept it, like Liam said about the belts, they had like the rubber weapon holders on uh, for the figures as well, so you could put like the swords back in and. Oh, you get. I think we're going to make it somehow. Oh. Pizza time! Pizza. You steal all the pizza? Sorry, I meant to only get one. Oh. I didn't go too well. 
And that's me out. Make it. You're gonna get him. No. Nope. Well, I think we'll call it there, ladies and gentlemen, for that one. I think we had two attempts at that, which wasn't uh, wasn't a bad run. Right, we never got to finish and we got the game. The same part as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a different format to the Throwback Tuesdays, but still retro and interesting nonetheless. Well, I think it is. Uh, but yeah, that was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on uh, Xbox Live Arcade now. 1989, yeah. Um, yes. yeah. Obviously, I'll get a review up soon uh, of the Out of the Shadows. Uh, that's out. It's 1,200 points. Um, you know, definitely worth it, especially if you love the original Turtles. Um, and yeah, I've had a, I've really enjoyed this session, both games. Uh, even though there was a bit of lag at first, and we had a bit of problems, we got there in the end. We did, we did. So, I think all that's left to say is goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. Bye from me. Thanks for watching, everyone, and welcome.